So last class we have discussed about what matter. Oh, yes, Mr. Swashni. Prepare for uh, import and export of the commodities, sir. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Very good. Afternoon, shall we? Okay, I will give you time. We'll discuss. Yes, sir. Okay. After one forty, we have a okay, session. Sir. That time, we will discuss. Okay, good. So now we will discuss about uh, durable insurance. So yesterday we had discussed about marine insurance. So uh, <clears throat> re, uh, and also the difference between uh, different types of insurance also we have discussed. Okay, now. Reinsurance and double insurance. What is reinsurance? It is a contract of insurance in which an insurer enter into a contract with another insurer to insure the whole or part risk covered by the first insurer. It happened when an insurance company feels that it cannot bear the entire risk alone by itself. In such a case, it transfers a part of risk to another insurance company. Okay, so the <clears throat> For example, insurer is uh, so okay. So example, insures uh, ins A insures his house fifty lakh with X at a premium of ten thousand. X feels that the risk of fifty lakhs is beyond its capacity. As a result, X gets the same house insured from Y. Such a contract. So X gets the same insured from Y. Such a contract between X original insurance company and Y is known as reinsurance. Have you got the point now? So what is the concept in the sense of uh, Mr. Uh, okay. So uh, Raj, okay, being a character recurring. So what he is doing, he insured his company for 50 lakhs. Okay. So in LIC. Or uh, so L uh, no, no, no need to go for LAC, you'll go for uh, this Kodak Mahendra like insurance company. Like. Then what happened? That Kodak Mahendra they realized oh this uh, 50 lakhs, suppose a uh, risk in case of any risk. So all the 50 lakhs we need to bear by ourselves. So it is not possible to bear all the loss. So what they will do, they will seek another insurance company to support. Okay. So we can see it is the contract of insurance in which insurer enters insurer means what insured means the person raj okay insurer means the company itself kodak mahendra enter into a contract with other insurer or the another insurance means like lic to insure the whole or part of the risk covered by the first insurer okay so have you got my point so here what happened, Mr. Uh, Raj? Uh, okay, Varshini, so Varshini and then up and she insured her home. Or we reckon the video and then up near can insure could insure Panir can. So in the insurance on the Patamak, it covers 50 lakh, but uh, that company on the insurer on the are uh, Kodak Mahendra, they can't able to afford that much amount by himself, they can't bear the entire 50 lakhs by themselves. So in up and wrong, they this kid the. Not Varshini, okay, not Varshini. So this Kodak Mahendra, they will ask LIC. He is another insurer. So our get end up and they will seek assist that what uh, so we can either they can they ask them to bear entire risk or a part of risk. Okay, that is what called as reinsurance. Got my point? Yes, sir. sir. The reinsurance contract are also governed by the same principle which apply to the original contract of insurance. Since contract of reinsurance are based on principle of indemnity, they deal with reinsurance in fire, marine, general insurance cases. Okay, so here, mm, uh, so it is also the principles means what the uh, the rules and regulations. For reinsurance, also same as like normal uh, for normal insurance. Okay, as like other insurance, reinsurance also principles also seems to be same. So, what happened? So we can able to follow the same regulation. So these reinsurance suits for, uh, especially this marine fire. If we take this ever given ship, okay, last time it got stuck. Instead of that, in case if the ship go the ship got sink, in the sense, what will happen? 
it will be a great loss for the investor they and the, the ship owner and also the commodity those who are transferred so they will immediately they will seek help from the what the insurance company the insurance company if they want to bear such a huge risk in the sense a huge amount it's a, it's a huge amount so what they will do they will uh, try to safeguard uh, with the help of reinsurance the next one is double insurance when more than one insurance policy is taken co- to cover the same risk then it is known as double insurance <coughs> <clears throat> okay so you can see for example uh, life insurance if a person uh, there are, there is a person okay we can able to take a, a lic we can able to take a, a policy from lic and another one is uh, hdfc they are also having insurance okay even sbi also they are having insurance in sbi also they have insurance company okay so what happened so in so uh, it, it is possible for a person to insure his health or medical medical insurance also they are giving our midlife corporation it's a private one is their midlife okay so if a person x he can able to take insurance in midlife as well as lic so that is what called as a uh, double insurance so double insurance may be profitable in case of life insurance as insured can claim full policy money under all the policies so what is life insurance <clears throat> so and uh, life insurance duration may be 5 years to 30 years so the duration is based upon the policy what the insured is choosing in case if he chooses 15 years then after 15 years he can able to get back the full amount as a maturity maturity amount or else in case in between any death or any accidents we can able to claim a part so in case if it is life insurance if he if he has done with a two company insurance company he will get double the benefits a person can take up any number of life policies for any amount and at the same time of maturity he shall be entitled to claim money under all policies okay so we can able to take any any number no issues got it so that is suitable for only life insurance and what is another one fire and fire and marine insurance so with the same subject matter is is insured uh, with more than one insurer and then insured can claim this loss from each of the insurer however the total claim cannot exceed the amount of total actual loss this one already we had discussed do you remember So here we have discussed, I think. Yes, sir. Hmm. So that point already we have discussed with suitable example, right? So what what is that example? So if a person insured with two, uh, if we if I ever insured with uh, two companies, then upon the based upon the laws, they will calculate. and they will provide so this is what the uh, this is what the thing we have discussed you can see so harish insured house 2 lakhs with insurer x it is on the lic le he has he has been insured and 42 lakhs and 4 lakhs with insurer y 4 lakhs is in uh, kodak mahindra or else uh, kodak mahindra okay fine Harris, Harris, uh, incur a loss of two forty two lakh forty thousand. Now liability of X and Y will be calculated as follows. So in a panel, can you can see? So the formula they have used to sum of the insure the same property is house. So it got due to fire. What happened? Two lakh forty low forty thousand loss incurred. So that uh, we we uh, normally people what they will imagine like life insurance. and uh, they will get double the amount but if it is go if we go for property and any um, marine like cruise and cargo ships it will not applicable so so what they will do insured with x okay what is the insured with so uh, so how many lakhs he have insured in uh, sba that is 2 lakhs so divided by what is the total amount so total with another bank also kodak mahindra here he has insured 4 lakhs so 4 plus 2 6 lakhs Into actual loss. What is the actual loss? Two lakh forty thousand. So finally, how much he will get? Eighty thousand from LIC, and uh, the same procedure we need to follow. 
So one lakh sixty thousand from Kodak Mahindra. When we add these two, he will get the total compensation. So this is what uh, they will contribute. Okay. Let's say same concepts repeats here in double insurance. Clear? Are you following me? In double insurance, yes, what sir. happens? So this is what. Okay, the when same uh, uh, subject matter is insured with more than one insurer, then insured can can claim his loss from each of the insurer. However, the total claim cannot exceed the amount actual loss. What is the actual loss that we have discussed? Two lakh forty. Sorry, two lakh forty thousand. So, uh, the total insured value is ag aggregated, which is less. The insurer will bear the claim in respective portions. Proportions means what level. So in here, we are going to For example, given in the contribution. So just now I have shared you. So like that, they will divide and they will. Both the insurance company will compensate the loss incurred by that accident. Clear? Any doubts? Yes, sir. Shall we go for next? Yes, sir. So now we are entering into the new service, postal service. Now we are all discussing uh, the topic business service. So what are all the service sectors they are supporting our business? First one we are discussed. What? What was the first one we are discussed? Banking service, right? What are the types of banks, types of accounts? Yeah. And what are the facilities they are providing to the business people for current account holders? All those things we have discussed. Then later, insurance we have discussed. Types of insurance and what are the elements required to for insurance? All those things we have discussed. Now we are entering into postal service. Okay, so I hope you everyone might be having experience of using postal service, right? So it's an Indian postal department aims to sustain its position as largest postal network in the world, touching the lives of every citizen in the country. So what is the duty of post office? Anyone? Anyone? Postal service or postal service. What is their duty? Can you please? So you people are also using, right? Like professional career, then uh, ST careers. Then in Indian post, post, even speed post. So what they will do, they will take responsible for our any 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 anything we are what posting us sending through postal service. They will take us what responsibility and they will make us those things those files to reach safely to the particular destination. Okay, fine. We'll discuss one by one. The postal service are important for a modern business. Indian Post and Telegraph uh, Department provides various postal service across India, 22 postal circle. These circle manage day by day functioning of various set office, state post office, sub post office, and branch post office. They offer various facilities for sending and receiving letter, parcel, money order, samples. This postal department perform the following service. Okay, so I so uh, I hope you know very well, right? Letters. So we can able to send letter. Do you have experience of sending letter? Anyone? Both of them among two. Anyone? Do you have experience of sending any letters? Do you, that means a mail. Okay, no, so to your uncle, aunt, or anyone? No. No, sir. Mm, so when I was young, there we don't have much uh, <coughs> telephone facilities. Okay, so I have that uh, experience. Sorry, I, I had that experience. So what I will do, my uncle, he lived in Pune, so I used to write a letter, and I will send him. So how are you, Uncle? Always an auntie. So always uh, uh, things in Pune. So uh, I will expect reply from you. So once you receive the letter, you will write, oh, dear John, I have received your email. So uh, sorry, um, letter. We are all fine. So we are all coming to this vacation. So you will mention this day. So this is what a letter. 
and also when we were saying we used to get a promotion card okay so that uh, john got promoted from grade uh, 5 to grade 6 so we will eagerly expect that postal card so that way every annual year okay after annual examination during the annual holidays we i will expect that letter so whenever the poster on <coughs> the for that man okay when the postman came i will get fear so that that was the service provided by me even still now they are they are renting this service letter we can able to send letters then now they are expanding their level to parcels then money orders we can able to send money also from one place to another then we, it is possible for send sample especially in business uh, they will get order after sending a sample so that sample also sent through post office so what are the other facilities provided by post office we will discuss so postal department provide financing facilities to number of people due to its vast coverage people can invest in post office saving scheme through public provident fund P pf <coughs> kisan vikas patra kisan in the sense that what is this farmer so farmers they can open an account and they can able to save money then national savings certificates it, uh, have you heard about that nowadays the postal office the post office they were uh, working like a bank do you know that guys do you know that no sir no really You can see banking scheme. <clears throat> in post office, they are giving, they are acting as a bank. We can open an account. You can see post office savings scheme. Okay, so we can open an account and we can able to save money. Uh, what are all the functions and activities doing by uh, banks? The same activities they, they, are, uh, they are also rending. Okay, <clears throat> we can able to deposit money in post office. We can able to open a saving account and we can uh, access that. Uh, they will give a passbook. Every bank they are giving by account passbook, they will give us bank passbook. Okay. So the, they are, uh, and they are, even they are giving, uh, okay, even they are giving uh, uh, what uh, loan, <coughs> financial support for small scale business. So, how banking they are renting their service like that, by the post office also they are. Lending their, so they are in, they are lending their service to us. Okay, it is also perform banking function of monthly income scheme, a recurring deposit. Recurring deposit we have discussed, right? What is recurring deposit? Every month, if it is for four thousand rupees, so every month we will pay four thousand rupees for two years. Okay, for as like fixed deposit. So it is not possible for us to withdraw in between. So after the mature once maturity period occurs, we can able to withdraw. <clears throat> the recurring deposit so uh, uh, for along with interest they will give high rate of interest for recurring deposit who the uh, the post office also and we can able to open a saving account then we can able to time deposit like a fixed deposit also called as time deposit for 10 years or 15 years even we can able to send money order facilities so nowadays only we have Google Pay and the phone pay everything. But those days so only through money order, we can able to uh, through either through bank from one account to another account, we can able to transfer money. But uh, both those is money order. Okay, so we can give money to the post office. Every now uh, and uh, there is a chalan. We need to take the chalan and we need to write, fill the chalan and we need to give that to them and money also. For her thousand, two thousand, they will charge some service charge. Okay, and uh, the postman he will carry the money. For example, I am sending money order to Alagusti Nidhi. So what they will do? So the postman he will carry the money and he will hit a hand over the money. Okay, for the number he will get a signature from you. So next, this is, these are all the facilities provided by whom? Bank. Sorry, not bank. Post of post postal service. Clear? Are you following me, guys? Sir. 
Yes, sir. Next, uh, under postal certificate. Okay. So under postal certificate, UPC is a certificate issued by post office on payment of prescribed fee, which the sender wants to have proof that he has actually posted the letter. In order to have such a certificate, the sender need to write the complete address of, of the receiver and send on a plain paper and affix the required postage on it. This paper along with the letter is handed over the post office. The post office will put its seal on the paper and return it to the sender. This paper will now serve as a evidence for posting in case of any dispute about communication. It must be noted as UPC has be written. Okay, for example, so in what happened those days? So if I send a telegram or, or a letter, okay, I, I hope you are seeing this letter earlier. Mail blue color when we fold it will seems to be like this. Okay, so uh, so uh, this is what the symbol of letter. So if I post means just they will uh, stamp the I will I need to stick the stamp on that letter. So if I give a hand over it to the postal service, just uh, simply they will uh, they will just uh, keep the seal seal which it then they will send. But what is the evidence for me? Now, if you if you people, if I if I try and send you any anything via professional courier, they will give a slip. Yes or no? Do you have that experience at least sending anything courier through postal like a okay. professional courier, ST courier? Once we, <coughs> they will accept okay. our parcel and they will check everything and what they will do, they will give a slip. That slip act as a evidence. Okay, that is the service done by. Uh, for what uh, professional careers, the same uh, service who is doing our Indian post office also they are doing postal service also they are doing so uh, under postal certificate. So we we can able to get the seal and signature. Uh, so that will be act as evidence. I have shared you for uh, I have uh, mailed you mail email where email naka. That's what what we are doing. Okay. Mail in a sense, let just I'm share you the letter through post office. So I will take a, a, a photo of this UPC and I send an hour to come to check it. This day, so it may receive you in so many days and sorry that will act as a, a, a evidence. The next one is registered for post. Have you heard about registered post? No, sir. No, sir. So registered post kill you the layer. The registered post is the very safest one. Okay, once if uh, the, the normal post or if I do registered post, they will get the postman will give only to the person whose name is there, who is the receiver name. For example, uh, I'm sending a letter to Varshini. So the Varshini's name will be mentioned uh, in that uh, letter. Yeah, Varshini Kandam Malayam Tirchango Namakal district. So the, the postman will hand over that particular letter only to Varshini. If Varshini is not there, he will not hand over. OK, so that is what very secured one. You can see assured for safe delivery. So the registered post is the postal service in which mail is registered by the post office. What we are sending that they will register who is sending to whom. What is the time of sending? OK, they will register everything date, time everything and they will they will say reach safely they will deliver that particular letter and that person the surety is there the object of registered post facility is to provide secure transmission of the article so the registered article are transmitted under the special precautions under the service mails are handed over to the post office after affixing additional postage of as registered charge okay Are you all there, guys? So once technology yes, came, we lost so many things. Now no one is doing registered post. Even no one is sending normal letter even. Even we don't know how to write letter. Leah. Yeah.
so this is what registered post okay so they will give you see the the we need to uh, make okay even uh, last time uh, <coughs> what happened your seniors you you also done right i think you might be given uh, your hand over your uh, papers so last time what happened all the papers of a school ask them ask you people to send it either to courier service or register post yavarka when you was doing grade 10 they said we will uh, conduct all the test whatever the pre board test 1 2 3 4 you need to write uh, both you need to send both soft copy as well as hard copy that hard copy you need to send through professional courier so they irpang yavarka Yes, so this is what uh, is also called as the registered post. Yeah, put on this uh, um, post office. They pandranga. They will stick a barcode, and it will. If it is mentioned, uh, the principal means it will. The letter will go only to the principal. Okay, so it is very secure one and very safe. Safely, they will transfer the registered post. So is it useful for me for you guys? I am just explaining with you uh, this uh, images also. So uh, I know what is a registered post, uh, but uh, if I want to show you in a sense, I need to share you the pictures too. So I hope you know you can able to understand right now what is my, what is postal registered post means. Immediately these few things will strike on your mind. Yes, even we can able to track tra track trace. Where, where, <coughs> for example, uh, uh, have you all seen this in Amazon? We can able to track. Yeah. Yes or no? So once we ordered, we can able to trace whether they will dispatch first and up and one pack pani tanga. Now delivery pani tanga. Now it is in transportation. Your product reached Lucknow, Chennai, Bangalore, then tomorrow out for delivery. Have you all seen that? It is available in Flipkart and uh, Amazon also. Yes. And they will send a SMS. So this person also person will deliver you on this day. I will instantly put it on. Am I audible, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So like, as like uh, that, uh, we can able to trace this uh, registered post also. OK. The location of registered post can be traced. Uh, at the, the location of registered post can be traced at any stage as recording regarding movement of the article you maintaining from the book till the time of its delivery. In case of loss or damage of the article, the sender uh, is eligible for compensation. So the, the, the two disused, the two distinguished registered posts from the ordinary mail. All registered mails are super scribed, scribed as registered posts on their face. Okay, so compare. Just now I, sh I have shared you right. They are sticked with the barcode la which na panir pangar R S registered post me chir pangar. Yeah, R R O. That means <coughs> so even if any damage, so yara open bani pata tanga. So uh, we can able to claim compensation that the uh, the content what I have shared. So it is illegally opened by someone else, so we can able to even claim compensation for that. Got it now next one is parcel. You all know very well about parcel here. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. So what happened? <coughs> so I need to send a book about what happened last time our advice and answer. So dear teachers, you people due to <coughs> lockdown, your people are there in your home. <coughs> so if you have any materials here in our school, we will say we are ready to say, send you parcel. <coughs> so are you many? So in a postal office, they are sending, they are accepting this parcel also. So a post office uh, serves as a postal administration for sending article from one place to another through post. It is one of the less expensive way to send packages through post, and there are two heavy to send by regular letter post and usually slower method of transportation. OK, so certain things OK in letter we can able to send only OK, very, very one or two slips 
it is not possible for me to <clears throat> send a book through letter is it possible is it possible for me to send a book through postal service no so that's why they are choosing as a parcel service so that what i be, i can't able to send through letter that i can able to send through parcel i need to pack and i need to later write what is who is the sender who is the receiver everything and what are the pay service charge i can able to pay and what i will the transportation is little slower than what this letter like a email is a letter registered post compared to registered post this is little slow under parcel post service parcel of specified size and weight can be sent across the country as well as outside the country so they will how in professional courier they are charging for per gram layer yes or no if you want to send anything through professional courier they will just check the weight and based upon the weight they will at the distance where you want to send for example here in <coughs> chennai as this many rupees or else if it is uh, <coughs> delhi so this man this much will be the price will vary based upon the distance and based upon the weight got it so the postal charges vary according to weight of the parcel the separate postage is paid uh, for inland and foreign okay so in case of i uh, if i want to send a parcel to a uh, uh, uae or as uh, dubai Uh, Saudi Arabia. So, other uh, than that, the area. If I want to send a parcel to um, India, then this and therefore that the devil serves different uh, service charges. Any doubts, guys? The next one is speed post. So, what is speed post? I know you know very well, right? Have you used this facility, speed post? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so yes, they will sir. give more preference for speed first okay so it is time bound and ex express delivery of letter so the time they will give where uh, uh, very <clears throat> accurately they will send if i want to send it with what are what are all the fastest mode of transportation they will select and they will send the letter okay speed post is a postal service which provide the time bound and express delivery of letter document parcel across the nation around the world even for example even they will use a aeroplane also for speed, speed post the charge for the speed post is relatively more than the ordinary mail and varies according to the distance our post of office also pick up speed post mail from the doorstep of the sender when sent bulk mail on the regular basis for example if a like a magazines okay like a times india uh, then uh, so many magazines are there nowadays leya kumadam kalkand so what they will do they will uh, there are subscribers irupanga paathirukeengala for their subscribers they what they will do those days they will send uh, through postal service they will send kumadam kalkand so uh, monthly subscriber weekly subscriber so enna pannuva if they are dispatching more numbers from post office they will send a particular person along with vehicle they will take collect and they will send it for delivery so speed post offers may uh, money back guarantee under which speed post office is which refunded if the uh, consignment is not delivered within the published no delivery norms okay so in, in uh, apart from other post yeah, there is one big advantage in speed, speed post is what uh, we can able to get the money compensation money if suppose uh, they promised us they will deliver within one day or two days time and adukulla vanda in case if they didn't deliver means we can able to get the claim nama claim pannikala we can get back the money so that facility is also given by home indian postal service speed force facility speedy transportation of article to over 1000 destinations in india 97 major countries across the globe This service is available 24 hours at specific speed of post centers. Okay, so you can see the the nearly 97 countries they are rendering our Indian postal service. They are rendering what uh, more than 70 to 97 countries they are rendering their service, and also uh, across India more than 1000 destination they are uh, what uh, they are rendering their service. So 24 by 7, uh, they are working for speed post. Clear. in courier you know very well like courier pathi nama 
explain brown now see email la yes or no courier service yes, yes sir courier companies you can see courier companies like uh, now we know very well about uh, professional courier st couriers yeah so the courier are is a mail service provided by private operation in which they collect letter and parcel from doorstep of sender and deliver to the place of the uh, address okay so this is uh, what is the difference between courier and parcel in a sense here yeah, the parcel is a, a service rendered by whom our indian post office so what about this courier service there is like private companies st uh, then uh, you can see blue dot TTDC, overnight express, professional couriers, ST couriers, no matter what. So these people, the private operators will come to the courier company. Which okay, so it provides a quick means of communication. No postage is required to fix on letter and parcels and through couriers. The charges payable for private service, courier service, are generally higher in comparison to post office. Yes or no? So if we if we send any anything anything via our indian postal service there is little uh, moderate the expenses little moderate but if you go for private one we need to pay a lot okay so they are little expensive compared to postal service but uh, it, they are very quick compared to indian postal service it provide facilities for national as well as international communication courier company uses railways roadways airways for for carriage of articles if it under full responsibility of safe and timely delivery of article it collect article from doorstep box sender and deliver them to the receiver overnight express blue dot and blaze free dtc are some of the private courier operating in the country okay we are given some examples so what they will do they will collect very uh, what they collect from the even from doorstep If we are sending it uh, through bulk, uh, now one or two we will go and we will send courier. If we are sending in bulk order, they will come and collect from the doorstep of the sender. And second thing, they will use maximum what is the most uh, fastest way to reach a particular parcel. Based upon that, they will charge us and little. These are little expensive than what uh, postal service. Clear. Any doubts, guys? No doubt, sir. What? Hello, Mr. Nidhi. No doubt, sir.